Hello everyone, I'm Gabmos and in this video I will be showing you the new Cyanogen Mod 10.1 based on Android 4.2.1 for the Samsung Galaxy S2. Uh, this is an unofficial build even if uh, it is made by CodeworkX himself because it is not uh, uh, definitive, it is not uh, extremely stable but uh, at least it, it is usable. We'll begin with the lock screen. As you can see, this is the uh, 4.2 uh, lock screen with uh, all the shortcuts and the lock screen widgets like the clock that I can expand um, or uh, the camera here on the, on the, on the right and uh, if I swipe left I can add another widget as you can see we have some widgets now we are on the um, on tri bu tree bucket the default Cyanogen mod launcher um, it uh, has not changed much from uh, the previous version it is pretty much the same um, we just have um, I think some um, fixes for uh, the new Android and as you can see we have the um, we have the new clock widget uh, if we click this we are on the new clock application with uh, the timer and the stopwatch uh, it is really nice but uh, it has a problem uh, if you come from uh, um, the Cyanogen Mod 10, so from Jelly Bean for that one, you have to wipe the clock data and uh, reset all the uh, date and time settings. Otherwise, you will have some problems. There will be some uh, instabilities like this. Um, so uh, now we will see the notification uh, menu. Uh, when I uh, put this down, uh, sorry. Uh, you can see that we don't have the power widgets uh, that we can uh, that we can add them but uh, as long as I have the new quick settings I don't need them as you can see we now uh, have our uh, Google Plus profile picture on the top left corner and some uh, default uh, settings like uh, brightness the settings button it itself and uh, the Wi-Fi the Bluetooth and the sound. Um, to re-enable the classical, the classic uh, Cyanogen Mod Power widget, we just had to uh, go in the settings, uh, go to System and uh, our no Notification Menu, and we just click this Power widget, and we have now the our Power widget back as uh, we had on previous versions like Cyanogen Mod 9 and 10 I don't need it so uh, we also can uh, customize the quick settings panel as you can see uh, we have the possibility to uh, change the position of the tiles in this way see oh sorry if I long press a tile and I move it around I can easily reposition it or delete it if I um, if I move it here or I can add uh, other tiles we have lots of tiles like plane mod battery stats uh, brightness GPS a lot of them so uh, we can if we if add them uh, as you see I added the GPS uh, the keyboard is another uh, change from the previous Jelly Bean version uh, I will show you now um, in the notes application the new uh, keyboard looks like the previous improved uh, Cyanogen mod keyboard but uh, they added the, the gesture typing uh, so if we now try uh, to write, uh, uh, let me change the language to English. So if we try to write hello world, 
as you can see it works well and there is no there are no problems apparently um, except from some transparency problems uh, if you see uh, sometimes when I press uh, a letter uh, you can see that the transparency has some problems let me show you see there is not a perfect transparency but I think they will fix it soon it is not a big problem and uh, um, I don't really care much about it many of you may know that uh, um, the 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 headset volume bug that uh, practically the volume using the uh, headphones is really low and really bad from I think from Cyanogen Mod 7 we had this problem uh, and a way to solve it was using Voodoo Louder this little application that costs one dollar and I really like it because it works and I wanted to try it on uh, for that too. Uh, I can tell you that it works. Uh, now I, would, I will show you with my headphones uh, the functioning of this uh, application. As you can see, I plug in the headphones. Mm -hmm. Let's try to play a song. The headphones themselves are uh, really loud and really good, so maybe you do notice this but um, this is the amplified uh, volume and this is not amplified you can notice the difference and I can tell you that it is really nice because there, there is no distortion no uh, the, the audio is perfect and it is just perfect with this application and I'm really glad it works on um, it works on this new version too. So this was the Cyanogen Mod 10.1. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, follow me on my blog and uh, on YouTube for the next videos. In the description, you will find all the information needed uh, to download and install this ROM on your device. And see you to the next video.